بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is the cartilage data show for the academic year 2014-2015 First of all you should know that the cartilage is a type of connective tissue The cells of the cartilage originate from the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells like any connective tissue cell Also it resembles the connective tissue in the fact that the cells Here are widely separated from each other. Here we have the cell and the other cell. And these cells are widely separated from each other by the matrix. The matrix here is characterized by being rubbery. Here a very important feature is the rubbery consistency of this matrix which makes it firm but flexible and this is different from the hard inflexible matrix of the bone very important character it is the non vascular non vascular also it has no lymphatic vessels and it has no nerves so As a summary, it is a um, certain type or specific type of connective tissue formed of uh, uh, cells and fibers and matrix. The cells are originating from undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. The matrix is rubbery in consistency and makes this makes it uh, flexible. And it is non-vascular, also devoid of lymph vessels and nerves. Cartilage is classified into three types, hyaline cartilage, yellow elastic cartilage, and white fibrocartilage. And this is according to two factors. First, amount of matrix between the cells. Second, the type of the fibers embedded in this matrix. Uh, this is the high power for the hyaline cartilage, which is the most common type. It is called hyaline because when it is uh, In the fresh state, unstained, it appears transparent like the glass. Hyalo in Latin means glass, so it is called hyaline cartilage because in the fresh, unstained form or state, it is uh, translucent like a glass. Here we have the structure of uh, the hyaline cartilage. Here we have this is the perichondrium which is the outer covering of the cartilage. This is the peri. Peri means around. Chondrium means cartilage. So this is the outer protective layer for the cartilage. This layer here, it is formed of two elements. We have here outer fibrous layer. This is the outer fibrous layer here. It is formed of the uh, collagen fibers, fibroblast, and this layer is characterized by two things. The type of the collagen here, it is of the type 1. It is of the type 1 collagen, very important to know that. It is uh, collagen type 1. After that, you should know, this is the collagen type 1. After that, uh, this layer, which is a fibrous layer, is rich in blood vessels it is rich in blood vessels and this is very important for the nourishment of the cartilage because the cartilage is a vascular so this perichondrium supply the cartilage with the nourishment that will pass to the cartilage by diffusion the second part here of the perichondrium is this layer of cells these cells are actually chondroblast Blast means it is an active cell that will produce uh, cartilage, chondrocyte, chondroplast. So this is the inner chondrogenic layer. Genic means form. This layer is formed of the chondroplast, these cells, that uh, later on, uh, when there is a need for the growth or repair of cartilage, these cells uh, will uh, form uh, the cartilage new cartilage by uh, formation of matrix fibers and uh, being mature to form the chondrocytes after that uh, 
here you may be asked in this situation about the functions of the perichondrium. Here you should know that the functions here is divided into two. First of one, first one is the the nourishment, nourishment or nutrition of the cartilage, which is the function of the outer fibrous layer. Then the second function is the formation of new cartilage during the growth or repair. So this is a function of the end inner chondrogenic layer formed by chondroplast. And the third function, it is the site for the attachment of the muscle. So these functions should be remembered because it may come as a question in the exam. After that, here in the picture, come again to the picture, here we have the cells in the periphery of the cartilage. These cells at the periphery of the cartilage are called chondroplast. So we have chondroplast in the inner chondrogenic layer and also we have chondroplast which are immature young chondrocytes present also at the periphery of the cartilage. So these are the chondroplast at the periphery of the cartilage. In addition, we have chondroplast also in the perichondrium, in the inner chondrogenic layer. In each cell here, you should know the origin, the site, LM, EM, and functions. So, as regards the origin, it's very known that it is one of the cartilage cells, so it originates from the UMC. Then, as regards the site, it is present always at the surface of the cartilage, as well as as the inner aspect of the perichondrium. As regards the LM, as regards the LM, it is oval in shape or spindle in shape. This is the shape, and it has a deeply basophilic cytoplasm with a large oval pale nucleus. And as it is an active cell, this large oval pale nucleus has a prominent nucleolus inside because it is an eochromatic nucleus. This cell can divide so the nucleus very pale, very eochromatic with prominent nucleolus. As regards the EM, you can expect that this cell should be rich in the protein uh, uh, should be rich in the, the organelles responsible for protein synthesis. So we can expect it has a well-developed rough ER, Golgi apparatus, and mitochondria. So these are very fixed features for the protein synthesizing cell. In addition to that, it has also abundant ribosomes for making the proteins for itself. It is a dividing cell. Also, being an active cell, it should have the uh, aochromatic nucleus. Aochromatic nucleus. So this is as regards the EM picture. As regards the function, of course, it forms the cartilage. So it is responsible for the formation of the matrix. First of all, it forms the matrix. Formation of the matrix itself. And once it is surrounded by this huge amount of matrix, it is imprisoned and became or changed into chondrocytes. So it formed the matrix and it changes to the chondrocytes, the mature form. More than that, it forms the collagen present in the matrix, which is of type 2. Take care, the cartilage fibers, collagen fibers in the cartilage in the perichondrium is of type 1, while the type of collagen in the collagen fibers in the matrix is of type 2. After that, it has um, the function of the growth from the surface, which is called 
the oppositional gross. يبقى هنا we have formation of the matrix and it changes into chondrocytes, formation of the collagen type 2 in the matrix and number 4, the gross from the surface which is called the oppositional gross. Oppositional gross position then we add AL, a positional gross. This is all about these uh, cells, LM, EM, functions, site, and origin. After that, we have to comment on this cell. This cell is a chondrocyte, which is a mature cartilage cell. This cell is present in two forms. It may be in the form of this oval cell present singly in its lacuna or rounded present in groups in their lacuna or singly, singly or in groups inside their lacuna. The, uh, the uh, chondrocytes, you may be asked about the following. First of all, what is this? the origin of this cell? The origin is the chondroplast. When the chondroplast surrounds itself by a huge amount of matrix and imprisoned in this matrix, it is now called a chondrocyte. This is as regards the origin. As regards the LM, as regards the LM, this cell is rounded or oval, oval at the periphery. And, and in this case, it is called young chondrocyte. And rounded in the center with central rounded nucleus, but the central rounded nucleus is darkly basophilic. And the cytoplasm is lightly basophilic, which is the reverse, for, for the reverse of the chondroplast. So, by the light microscope, it is a rounded cell with a central rounded nucleus or it is an oval cell when it is present at the superficial part of the cartilage. It is an oval or flat cell with an oval nucleus inside the center. Uh, the uh, peripheral one, it is present singly in its lacuna, while the central one, they may be rounded or triangular. They are present usually in groups. Groups of two or groups of four or groups of eight as they divide. So, these are the group of two surrounded by a condensed matrix forming the capsule. Here, this is the capsule formed of condensed matrix, while this is the lacuna, the empty space, in which uh, the cells are present. The groups of cells present in one lacuna is called the cell nest or isogenous group. And actually, during the staining, some shrinkage takes place, giving you the uh, appearance of this empty space, which is the lacuna, but this is not present during life as the chondrocytes completely fill the lacuna. This as regards the light microscopic picture. As regards the electron microscopic picture, we have uh, the features also of protein forming, which are rough ER, Golgi apparatus, and mitochondria. Why? Because they are protein forming cells also. Here, the uh, cells also form a protein to maintain the cartilage matrix by continuous secretion of new matrix around them. In addition to that, we can see inside these cells, especially the old one, this is an example for an old one, and this is the nucleus, we can see here lipid droplets. Lipid droplets here stored in the old one, as well as the glycogen granules. And these two features, 
represent or explain why they have a pale cytoplasm because of the dissolved glycogen and lipids so that the cytoplasm in the light microscope appears to be very pale or evacuated due to the dissolving of their content of glycogen and lipids. Uh, then we have here the, then we have here the matrix. This area which is called the matrix is condensed around the lacunae to form the capsule. So this uh, homogeneous basophilic area is called the matrix. Here you may be asked about the consistency of the matrix. This matrix is formed of uh, proteoglycans and glycoproteins in addition to water. So we have here these are the components of the matrix. We have here proteoglycans and glycoproteins in addition to the water. Proteoglycans it's a mixture between the protein and the carbohydrates. Glycoprotein, also it's a mixture between the carbohydrates and proteins, but the difference between them is the abundance of the carbohydrate in the first and the abundance of the protein in the second. Uh, very important to know the specific stain of this matrix. This matrix can be stained metachromatically. Chroma Kelly. What is the meaning of meta? means another color. Chroma it is the color. So when we apply a basophilic stain like toluidine blue on this matrix, and instead of having the blue color, we have a new color which is the purple color, which is a character known or a feature known metachromatic stain. Why they are metachromatic stain? Because they have sulfated glycosamino glycans like chondroitin sulfate revise the connective tissue matrix and you will find that uh, uh, one of the examples of the sulfate that's to say containing sulfur one of the type of sulfated glycosamino glycans is uh, the chondroitin sulfate which is uh, a very important component present in the matrix of the cartilage Last thing to mention in this slide is the fibers. Here, what is the type of the fibers present in this matrix? It is collagen type 2. But why I am not seeing these fibers? Here it is the matrix, but I cannot see the fibers inside this matrix. Why? because they have the same refractive endings as the surrounding matrix, so that I cannot distinguish these fibers. They have the same refractive endings as the matrix, so no differentiation take, can take place uh, when looking at this slide. But uh, I can see these fibers after digestion of the matrix by enzymes, so by this I can see the fibers alone. So, what are the types of the fibers present in this matrix? The fibers are collagen type 2. Don't forget, collagen present in the perichondrium is of the type 1. Before leaving the slide of hyaline cartilage, you must remember the sites. You may be asked to mention one or two sites in the data show exam. So, the sites are the following. The articular surface of the bones where the joints are present, the articular surface of the bones is formed of hyaline cartilage. And remember, in this site, no perichondrium is present and the nourishment takes place by diffusion of nutrients from the synovial fluid. The second famous site is the, the upper respiratory passages, nose, larynx, trachea, and bronchi. The third is the coastal cartilage from which we have our glass slide in the lab. The, uh, uh, the, fifth one, the fourth one is the epiphyseal plate, where ossification takes place, and also it is one of our glass slides. And the fifth one is the skeleton of the fetus. 
This picture is also for the high line cartilage under the high power and here you can see the perichondrium. The perichondrium here is evidently acidophilic compared to the matrix of the cartilage and it is formed of the outer fibrous layer with the fibroblast and also it should contain the blood vessels but they are not, see, are not seen here in this picture. In addition to this we have the chondrogenic layer formed of chondroblast. Also the chondroblasts are present at the periphery or the surface of the cartilage with no surrounding lacunae. So this chondroblast, this is also chondroblast. Once you see the lacunae, now these cells are imprisoned in lacunae, so they are called chondrocytes. At the periphery, they are oval and they are flat and they are uh, present um, in singly in their lacunae. So, and the cytoplasm, as you see, is very pale, very characteristic for the chondrocytes. They have a lot of lipids and fats in their cytoplasm. So, we have this is a pale or vacuolated cytoplasm, denoting that these are the chondrocytes at the periphery because they are oval in shape. And here, as you go towards the center, you can see the chondrocytes are rounded or triangular and they are um, uh, present uh, in uh, lacunae of two, as you see here. And in this uh, area, or can be called, uh, this uh, is a cell nest or isogenous group. And if you have a label for the uh, surrounding covering, so it is the capsule and in between we have the matrix. So, in the exam, if you have a label for this group of cells, you say uh, cell nest or isogenous group inside the lacuna. And if you have a label in between these lacunas, this is the matrix. And if you have a label on the condensed matrix here, you can say it is the capsule of lacuna. So, these are the various labels present in this uh, picture. Now, try to uh, repeat what we have learned here. We have here uh, the uh, perichondrium. Here we have the perichondrium formed of the fibrous layer of collagen type 1 and fibroblast. And in the deep layer, you can see the chondrogenic layer formed of chondroplast. At the surface of the cartilage, we have the chondroplast without lacunae, and also after that, deeper than that, we have the uh, vacuolated cells, which are the chondrocytes, and they are present inside, these, uh, inside their lacunae. Here we have uh, groups of cells called cell nest or isogenous group. In between, we have the matrix. The matrix here contains a glycoprotein and uh, uh, proteoglycans. It is stained metachromatically due to the presence of the GAG or sulfated GAG glycosaminoglycans, which is the chondroitin sulfate. Uh, this is the second type of the cartilage, which is the elastic cartilage. Uh, here you may have a label for the this covering. This covering is, of course, the perichondrium. So, the covering of the cartilage is the perichondrium, the same description as before. Also, may have you may have a label for these uh, tiny structures. These are the elastic fibers. These elastic fibers are very characteristic for this type of cartilage. And if you are asked for one visible character, that helped you to diagnose that it is elastic cartilage, you will mention the presence of a large number of branching elastic fibers forming a network. So this is the most visible feature to diagnose the elastic cartilage. Of course, the presence of these uh, fibers give, gives the yellow coloration of this cartilage in the fresh state, so it is called yellow elastic cartilage. 
uh, you may be asked also for a label for these uh, cells. These cells will be the chondrocytes. If you have a label for this empty space around the cell and under the capsule, it is the lacuna. And if you have a label in the area in between the lacunae or between the chondrocytes, it will be mentioned as it is the matrix. Uh, here also, you will diagnose or, or observe that the groups of cells here never exceed two. Two per one room or this is a cell nest formed only of two cells and the isogenous group is formed of only two chondrocytes. Uh, you may be asked about the uh, sites of this uh, cartilage, so the sites will be the following. Will be in the structures, all the structures here will be starting by the letter E. So we have ear pen. We have also the ostachian tube in the ear. Ostachian tube. We have also the epiglottis. In the larynx, epiglottis, in the larynx, and other some uh, laryngeal cartilage, and also the external auditory meatus, which is the canal connecting between the ear pen and the drum. What is the function of this uh, cartilage? It is very, very flexible, so it recovers its shape after being uh, deformed. If you are asked about the types of the fibers present in this cartilage, will be mainly the elastic fibers and also few collagen fibers of the type 2, also type 2. Here also a picture for the yellow elastic cartilage. You can see here um, the uh, elastic fibers present in large numbers forming a reticulum evident to be branched, uh, branched elastic fibers forming a reticulum. Also the isogenous groups are formed only of two. These are very uh, visible characteristic visible features for the yellow elastic cartilage. Uh, here it is an isogenous group of two, isogenous group of two, oh, or the chondrocytes in lacuna. Here we have the elastic fibers branched forming a reticulum. The lacuna, it is the white space uh, between the cell and the capsule. The white space here, this white space. So if you have a label for like this, you may be uh, more careful to say that there are chondrocytes inside lacuna. It's much better. Here, another picture for the yellow elastic cartilage. You can see here the, the, uh, ela the perichondrium here. How did I diagnose that? By the eosinophilic color, acidophilic color here, uh, uh, formed by the collagen fiber. So this is the perichondrium. Then we have here the cartilage itself. We have this label for the yellow elastic fibers inside the matrix. Also, this is elastic fibers inside the matrix. Also, these elastic fibers inside the matrix. Here we have this second matrix is called the capsule. This is the cell. This is the cell inside the lacuna. And the white space, the very narrow white space here, it is the lacuna. So, uh, you can, if you have a label here, like this, you, you will say chondrocyte inside lacuna to be careful in your answer. Uh, this is the third type of the cartilage, which is a white fibro cartilage. It is called white because in the fresh state, due to the presence of huge amount of collagen fibers, it is white in color. Uh, this cartilage can be diagnosed very easily by seeing this uh, collagen fibers present in bundles, huge bundles of the collagen fibers, which are acidophilic. And in between these bundles, we have rows of chondrocytes. 
and in between them we have a very minimal amount of the matrix. So don't forget that we have two factors that help us to classify cartilage. We have the amount of the matrix, here we have a very minimal amount of matrix, and also the type of the fibers present. Here we have the type of the fibers present is the collagen, but remember, it is collagen type 1. It is collagen type 1 and not type 2 like that present in the matrix of uh, the previous other types. Here, this collagen is present in the bundles and alternating with the rows of the uh, chondrocytes with minimal matrix inside. You may be asked about these sites. What are the sites of uh, this uh, cartilage? This cartilage is present in areas exposed to uh, high stress or uh, high pressure. So, don't forget it is present in the intervertebral disc present in between the vertebrae here we have a vertebra and another vertebra in between we have this intervertebral disc formed of white fibrocartilage also it is present in the mandibular joint in the mandibular joint also present in the symphysis pubis Also in the cartilage around the hip, in the hip joint, here we have, here in the hip joint we have cartilage around which is called acetabulum and also in the shoulder in the glenoid cavity. And the very famous site is the semilunar cartilages present in the knee joint which are common to be damaged in the football player. So, don't forget in intervertebral disc, symphysis pubis, and the uh, semilunar cartilages in the knee joint, they are very famous uh, to, and very easy to be remembered. This uh, cartilage is characterized by being very strong and very tough due to the presence of larger number of collagen fibers of type 1. Again, it is a picture for the white fibrocartilage, as you see, we have uh, huge, large bundles of the collagen fibers, type 1, and in between we have the parallel rows of the chondrocytes uh, present here with very minimal matrix. Uh, you cannot see the uh, basophilic matrix here, here very clearly because it is of uh, a minimal amount. Now start to examine yourself. This is the picture in the data show. The first question is identify the tissue you will answer it is the white fibrocartilage the second question is the green or the arrow this arrow points to what this arrow points of course to the bundles of the collagen type 1 you should mention it is type 1 to differentiate it from uh, the uh, other type which is type 2 present in the yellow elastic and in the hyaline cartilage then we have a circle around these structures what are these structures they are chondrocytes here are another slide in this uh, trial exam the first question asks you about uh, this uh, area what this area is called or what is the arrow point to what what structure? This, of course, the perichondrium. Why? Because I can see here, we have here the collagen fibers and the fibroblast and the chondrogenic layer formed of chondroplast. Then you have a question about this arrow. To what it points? It points to chondroplast. Why? I didn't say chondrocyte because they are not present inside lacunae. So it is... And it is in the deep, in the superficial layer of the perichondrium. Uh, this is the chondroplast, not surrounded by lacunae on the surface of the cartilage. Of course, don't forget that we have also chondroplast in the deep chondrogenic layer of the perichondrium. Then we have a question about uh, this structure. What is this structure? Uh, uh, the question asks what... Uh, 
the circle surrounds the circle surrounds isogenous group or cell nest or, or you can say chondrocytes forming a cell nest if you have a label in this area it will be the matrix if you have a label in this you will say chondrocyte inside lacuna here another picture of course this is the yellow elastic cartilage uh, we have a question about identification of the tissue. You will answer yellow elastic cartilage. The second question, name the structure, name this structure, and name this structure. This structure is a chondrocyte forming cell nest inside lacuna. And this structure is the elastic fibers. If you are asked what is the visible features that help you to diagnose that it is yellow elastic, you will answer two things. First, and the most important, the presence of uh, branching elastic fibers forming a reticulum or a network. And the second is the presence of isogenous groups of only two in number. No more than two. Here another slide. Uh, the question is identify the structure. Of course, if you look at this picture, you will not uh, notice either elastic or collagen fibers, so this is most 100% uh, it is a high line cartilage. So the answer is high line cartilage. The second question, the asterisk points to the, of course, to the matrix, which is stained, and dots also, stained metachromatically with the basic stains, and you can add between two brackets toluidine blue. Also, the third question is the yellow, or here it is red, of course. The red circle surrounds um, here, uh, surrounds uh, chondrocytes uh, forming here uh, cell nest or isogenous group. Uh, this is the last slide in this trial exam. First of all, he asked you to identify the tissue, of course, uh, no elastic, no uh, evident collagen fibers, so it is the hyaline cartilage. The second question, name the structure A. Of course, this structure is the perichondrium. What is its function? As we have said before, the fibrous layer is responsible for the nourishment, the chondrogenic layer is responsible for the growth, and the uh, third function is the site of attachment for the muscle. The arrowhead points to the, here, the capsule. Here, the arrowhead is pointing to the capsule formed of condensed matrix. So, it's better to mention these two uh, statements, capsule of condensed matrix. Then, the second question, while the black arrow points to, the black arrow is pointing to, the cell inside, so it is the chondrocyte inside the lacuna. And finally, he asked about this arrow. Actually, in the picture, it is red, as I am uh, using the only available colors here in the program. So here, the question will be the red arrow points to a cell, which is called here the cell, here at the a deep layer of the perichondrium, so it is a chondroplast. So the answers will be here in this question. The arrowhead points to the condensed matrix forming capsule, while the black arrow points to chondrocyte inside lacuna, and the arrow points to the cell called chondroplast.